Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Imaginative Stories. My name is Eric, and I hope you all have been doing well, because on today's episode, I will be reading to you Marvel's Shang-Chi by Michael Chen. Let's begin. Shang-Chi was born in the tranquil province of Honan, China. His father recognized him as a powerful spirit and a child capable of accomplishing great things. From his earliest days, Shang-Chi trained his body to be as strong and as fast as it was possible for a human to be. He studied many fighting styles. After learning that his father was actually the leader of an evil secret society, Shang-Chi fought and defeated him. From then on, he vowed to seek out evil in all its forms, to bring peace and harmony to the world. Shang-Chi does not have superpowers, but he is an expert in martial arts. His dedicated training has made his hands and feet as strong as iron. He is one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat fighters in the world. He is not afraid to take on opponents who are much bigger and stronger than he is. With amazing speed, Shang-Chi can dodge blast from all kinds of weapons and take down an opponent with a single strike. Watch out for his bone-rattling kick. Shang-Chi has trained his mind as well as his body. He has total control over his chi, the life energy found in all creatures. He can use his chi to focus his mind. His command of this life energy is so great that he can use it to block the sensation of pain. He can also ignore extreme heat and cold. At one point during his travels, Shang-Chi was recruited for his expertise by the United Kingdom Secret Intelligence Service by working with them as a special agent and spy. Shang-Chi was able to find and stop threats to world peace. Shang-Chi has often teamed up with superheroes like Captain America and Black Widow and he has helped teams like the Avengers fight powerful enemies they could not defeat alone. By using special energized nunchucks created by Tony Stark, Shang-Chi moves quickly to defeat his foes with powerful blows that are too quick for the eye to see. Shang-Chi has shared his skills with other superheroes. While instructing Spider-Man, Shang-Chi created the Way of the Spider. This unique fighting style is based on Spider-Man's wall-crawling ability, Spidey sense, and other superpowers. While Shang-Chi has relied mostly on his own skills and abilities, he is sometimes required to tackle big threats to the world in different ways. By using Dr. Pym's sizing altering Pym particles, Shang-Chi once transformed into a giant and conquered an evil dragon. With his bravery and skill, Shang-Chi is always ready to save the day. Go Shang-Chi! The End Thank you all for tuning in to the reading today, and thank you all for reading along with me. Be sure to tune in next time for the next book that I will be reading. Until then, keep using your imaginations, and be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.